Life is a winding road. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my very first substituting vlog-ish. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I'm doing to get myself ready for my first day as a substitute. In the district that I'm at, school doesn't start until September. So I have a couple of weeks left, but I wanna start preparing now. I've actually already bought a few things, but my main goal for today is to print out all of the papers that I wanna keep in my substituting folder, my binder, a clipboard, I don't know, situation thing. I still haven't ordered it yet, so I'm not exactly sure, but I wanted to bring little activities and things for me to do just, just in case I need anything for filler work, in case we finish early, whatever the teacher left for us to do, and I need something to keep the kids occupied five to 10 minutes, I don't know. I'm really aiming to just do high school, but who knows, maybe I will try a couple elementary, so I wanna kinda do a little bit of everything that all the age groups from K through 12 will like. I did find some things on Etsy. I'll actually leave all the stuff in the description box below if you wanted to look for some activity sheets yourself. It was actually pretty inexpensive. I got all of this for less than $8. Let me first start off by showing you guys the different PDFs that I got, they're gonna look like, and how I plan on using them. I have this one, it's just like a freebie bingo that came with the download, but I mainly wanted it for this one, which is a get to know you bingo, find someone who, if it's the beginning of the school year, and you know, just for them to get to know each other in the class as well. Um, oh, okay, so it has just different options. So I'll probably only print out like two. I got this dice breaker. I have a little pack of dice that I'm gonna bring to the class. So this is just like, you know, again, just random questions. And the next one is, oh, this is probably my favorite one. So this is while you were away. So I'm gonna have a copy of this ready so that way I can make a copy whenever I'm there and leave this for the teacher, the, the students that were absent, the star students, students who needed reminders, class report card, completed work, incomplete work, and then just some notes, and then just my contact information just in case he or she likes me and wants to bring me back, or if they had any questions about anything, they could always contact me. So this next one's gonna be more so for elementary. So it's just a bunch of mazes. This one actually comes with a ton of mazes, so I'm not gonna print them all out. I'll probably just print out a few. I guess they get more challenging as they go along, so I'll probably maybe get like two from each level, like two easy, two medium, and two hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and print these out. All right, so it's been a few days. My cousin dropped off her laminating machine. It's my first time using a laminating machine. This thing looks so cool. So I ordered these off of Amazon. I think it was like a 100 pack. Sorry for the kids. 100 pack for like $10, I believe. So I basically just opened it, and I guess I just put paper inside. And then I run it through, but I have to wait for this to have the green button so that way it's like hot enough, I guess. And it has some kind of a smell to it, too. Hey guys so it's been a few days actually it's been like a week to be honest me and the kids just got like really sick i'm still super congested but and no fever no anything i'm like on the end of it finally so just dropped zeke off at school today was his first day of school and i'm with melena we kind of just been hanging out all morning one thing that i really really wanted to do was to come to the thrift store and try to thrift some outfits there are some cute things from target and from walmart that i've seen like some outfits that i really really want to get but i want to see if i can get them here first if i find something that's like really similar here at the thrift store first so i wanted to make this portion of the video just thrift shopping with me some teacher outfits or just some nice outfits in general i don't really go nowhere so i don't really have nice outfits like that to wear on a daily basis so yeah your girl needs some help so i'm really hoping i find like a really cute jean jacket and some nice dresses um fingers crossed i could find some like boots or shoes or something so let's go in and hopefully we can find some good stuff oh. what blue and red red yeah i'm gonna put you in the car Hold I didn't bring your snack cup this time, baby. I'm sorry. I'm in the fitting room with little Miss Thing right here. She needs my phone, so I'm just gonna quickly try them on, make sure they fit. And then once I get home, I'll actually like try them on. But right now, I just wanna make sure they fit before I buy them. Hey, say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. All right, we're done at the thrift store. <laughs> Melina's already getting super anxious, but I wanna make one more stop before we go home and that's to Five Below. So that is literally the last few things that I wanted to get for my bag are here at Five Below. But after that, I should be ready for my first day, which I'm hoping it's next week. Oh my gosh, stop. Like, why do they have all these so cute colors? Like, I do not need that. I don't, but that's cute. That didn't take her long. She already found something. Wait. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. Since when are school supplies so aesthetic? Made it to the stickers. How cute are these little boot bags? Unfortunately, they did not have what I was looking for. I grabbed what they did have because I don't feel like going to Walmart or like to Target or anything right now. It's fine. And then I'm just gonna order the other two things that I wanted to order. I'm just gonna order that on Amazon. But my bag for now should be complete. So let's go home. I'm gonna feed Melina some lunch and then hopefully put her down for her nap. And then we'll do the little try on haul of the clothes that I got. All right, I'm back home. Please excuse all of this. I got poopoo patches on my face. My hair's a hot mess. My dark circles are almost black at this point. But just wanted to show you a couple of the shirts that I got. So this is one of them. It's from Shein. This was $5. I like it. Super flowy. This is my kind of style. I wish it was one size up. But I guess motivation to lose a little bit of weight. You know, can't hurt nobody. I think it'll look really cute with some black jeggings. And then some flats. Super simple. Cute outfit. This one is also from Shein. It was $5 as well. This is just water. So it's not stained. I like the fit of this one a lot better than the other one. Um, but this one too, super simple. Black jeggings and some flats, maybe put on a necklace or whatever and call it a day. I plan to style with my hair, like with my hair actually being done. And I feel like with my hair just being done, everything will look dressier than what it actually is. All right, I love this next one. It's brown short sleeve cardigan. I love it. I love how long it is. And I love that I can literally just put it on with a black tank top or I could pair it with a skirt to dress it up a little bit more or pair it with pants, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And I wanted something neutral that I could kind of like wear on top of a lot of things just in case um, I need it to like cover up my butt, you know? This is probably my favorite one that I found. So I didn't find a jean jacket, but I found a short sleeve denim button up shirt. It's cute, not too dressy, but dressy enough. Found And it was half off today. So this was 250, which I love it even better. All right, the next thing that I got was the only pair of pants that I got I'm sorry that mirror is disgusting I don't like the bottom of these pants I think they'd look a little bit too weird but they fit perfectly on my butt and in my stomach right here like it's rare that I find jeggings that actually fit me correctly in both of these areas so I ignored this because these can be the pants that I wear in the winter when I'm wearing boots so the bottom really isn't gonna matter I'm gonna see if I can take them to the place where Tommy got his pants hemmed and see if they can just kind of like just hem them in a little bit so that they're not so wide this was $7.50 for a good pair of jeans that I know that I can wear a lot that was a good deal and the last thing that I found were these boots they were in really good condition they fit me perfectly they're seven and a half they look weird because I don't have any long pants on right now. They retail for $19.99 and I got them for $5.99, which is awesome because I really wanted a pair of short boots like this. All right, sorry about this angle. This is the only place I can get the best sunlight at this time of day. So I'm gonna put all those clothes to wash because I got them at the thrift store. And I wanted to show you the rest of the things that are gonna go in my substitute bag. First thing I'm gonna show you is my bag. Here is the bag that I went for. So it has the pockets right up front, pockets right here, pocket right there, and then it has a zipper on the other side, and then I love the pattern on the inside. I love it. It's basically the same color as the outside, but just in stripes. And this thing has so many little pockets, it has so many spots to put pencils, um, sticky note pads, like a bunch of the little things that could get, you know, scattered everywhere. Um, it has a pocket for everything. I decided to go with a side bag instead of a book bag because I'm trying to go for the more girlier substitute teacher vibe. If you know me from my other videos, you know that I live in biker shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> just literally what I'm wearing right now. But I obviously can't dress like that when I go to the school. So I just wanted like a more girlier fashion-y bag versus a book bag. Um, I did get this on Amazon. The other thing was $30. I'll leave everything tagged in the description box below if you wanted to check out any of the items that I got. My second favorite item that I got is this. So one thing that I watched from watching other substitute teacher videos is that everybody said to bring a clipboard, which was important for like the plans that the teacher leaves for you, just to have them with you and on you for the attendance sheet, place to just secure those papers so you don't lose them. I definitely took that and ran with it. And then I found this one. I didn't think it was gonna be this huge, honestly. This is bigger than just like a regular notebook. It's a larger size, but it fits in the bag perfectly. Inside of this one is there's a front pocket right here and it did come with some stickers. So if you wanna like amp up the organization, it does have some stickers that it brought. And then it did have some dividers which I love that it had this the very first one is gonna be my while you were away sheet um, I did get them laminated but I did keep one paper one just in case for my first day if I can't find a copy machine or like I can't run away to a copy machine second sheet 
is my blank sheet of paper that's laminated. I ended up laminating two. The next folder is just my bingo sheets. I wanted these more so for like the beginning of the school year while everybody is still getting to know their classmates and stuff. But this would just be like a good icebreaker if I needed it. Um, and then the dicebreaker one that I showed you guys as well. And then the next one is all of the puzzles. So all of the puzzles are in here right now, but I'm gonna choose my top two and keep them in here. And then the rest of them, I'm gonna keep them at home. And I don't have anything in this last one yet. And then on this last page, this actually came with a notepad. But I love that this notepad wasn't connected to it. It was just kind of a loose notepad that they added on. Once I run out of this, I could just go and buy another notepad and stick it right on here and then just continue. And then it has a spot on the side for my pen, which is great because I have a feeling I'm going to be losing all of my pens. So the next thing that I got is this calendar. So I watched one of the YouTube videos and she had mentioned just in case the principal or someone comes up to you like, hey, would you be available to cover my class on this day? Instead of bringing out my phone or having to rely on the schedule that's on my phone, which it is on my phone, and it makes it really convenient. But when I'm already in the setting and I'm already like I'm on the clock, taking out my phone to like show them could have a negative reaction from either them or somebody passing by looking at me like, why is she on her phone right now? And I don't want that at all. So it's good to just have an actual calendar and then something that I could just have in my bag, be like, oh, okay, you need me to check? Let me see if I have anything scheduled as of right now for this day, and then I'll let you know if I can take the day. So I actually did schedule about 30 minutes ago, my very first day, and I'm really excited. So I put all the information there of where I needed to go, what time, what's the teacher's name that I'm covering, and what the location is. I'm really excited about this, just to keep myself organized. The next thing that I got was a cute lanyard for my ID badge. So the one that they gave me that came with my hiring uh, folders, it was just basic, simple, blue lanyard. I didn't want it to be blue. I wanted it to be more neutral colored. Just something that I can wear with all my stuff. And something that's not going to pull at my hair, which I noticed a lot of them were like really cute beaded ones. And I like that, but when my hair is down, my hair gets stuck in beaded ones so fast. If I'm going to be wearing this all day, like I want to make sure that this is comfortable. So the next thing that I got for myself is a lunch bag. So it's just a very plain Jane black lunch bag. Yeah, I'll probably just put it with some snacks, maybe some leftovers if I do cook enough. Not sure, but I just want a regular, plain, nothing fancy bag to put my lunches in. Sorry guys for the change in quality and for the change in audio, my SD card is full. So it stopped recording on my camera. So I'm gonna quickly just go through the rest of the stuff that I got. So like I was mentioning, I, there was two things that I didn't, wasn't able to get from the store that I am gonna get from Amazon. One of them is flashcards, like multiplication cards. And then the other one's gonna be like trivia cards. Two of them are really inexpensive. I think it's like 350 for the pack. So I'm just gonna get both of them just as more like time filler. A lot of this stuff, obviously like I'm new and I don't know what I'm gonna use, um, but we're gonna ride this ride together and whatever I do or don't use, I'll definitely let you know in a later video once I got some experience under my belt. The next thing that I got is some binder clips. I'm just gonna put a couple of these in my bag just to keep the paperwork that the teacher gives me together. I don't wanna use the teacher's things. So I'm trying to bring things that would normally be in a classroom, but I don't want to use it because it's a teacher stuff and I don't want to accidentally take it or lose it. So yeah. And then I also got some sticky notes just now from Five Below. It's only a dollar. I'm going to bring a little claw clip just in case for a bad hair day. I wanted to get some stickers. All the videos that I watched said that stickers was a really good reinforcement and no matter the grade age. So I really wanted to get some stickers and I accidentally grabbed decals. This is meant to stick on like iPads, phones, and laptops. Which now that I think of it, for the most part, I think all of them will have phones, tablets, or laptops. So maybe this would be a better one. I'm not sure. I just went with Marvel. I haven't met anyone yet who doesn't like Marvel. So if you've watched my other videos of when I go on jobs to do accent walls and stuff, I take this with me to my consultation. So it's a mobile office kit. My cousin actually got this for me. I think she found it at Marshall's or Ross, I think. And it just came with a bunch of cute little mini versions of things like mini binder clips, mini tape, mini stapler, and then mini staples, staple remover, little ruler. And I love that because I don't have to carry full size items in my bag. I did end up going out and getting some highlighters. I and mean, then I wanted to bring a couple of dry erase markers. Um, and then I just brought a couple Sharpies. And that's it for my mobile kit. And the last thing that I got was a water bottle. I just wanna make sure that I stay hydrated because I know that I could be drinking so much more water than what I'm drinking right now. Um, that's probably one reason why I got a kidney infection a couple months ago. So yeah, so don't forget to drink your water. And I got this kind, I found it at Marshall's. Super cute, I think it was like 15 bucks. I don't really like the ones with straws. I don't know why I like the reusable straws just gross me out so I'd rather get 
ones like this and yeah i think that's it so as of right now it is one week until my very first day unless another one pops up that i can do before then and then i'll click on it and then i'll just like go for it so i'm really excited to begin this journey and i hope you like this video and if you're also on the journey of wanting to be a substitute or you are a substitute teacher definitely follow me i'm definitely gonna try to incorporate this new part of my life in my videos just sharing the more day in the life stuff but not as a stay-at-home mom anymore so if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe as always i appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.